It's been a long time since we've seen a space plane that can fly into orbit, return to Earth, and end its mission by landing on a runway. In fact, the last time we saw this was a decade ago by the space shuttle, but perhaps we all revisit those glorious moments soon because Sierra Space has produced the first dream chaser prototypes and is a preparing of the first launch. Not only will this be a success for Sierra Space, but it will also be a expansionally good news for NASA and its plan. More importantly, it will become a challenger to a vehicle that currently leads NASA orbital mission. SpaceX Dragon can dream chaser complete with a powerful vehicle like SpaceX Dragon. Let's find out in today's episode our Henry Space Exploration on November second its headquarter in the Colorado Sierra Space officially released the first dream chaser prototype called Tennessee. It is a plane's space plan prototype designed to carry cargo to ISS. It's one of the most important milestones in the development history of Sierra Space. On Sierra Space main website, Tom Weiss, CEO, said Today we have arrived at a profound milestone in both our company's journey and our industry's future, one that has been year in the making and it's shaped by a audience dreaming and tenacious doing the dream chaser is not just a product, it's a statement of the human spirit, determination and relentless pursuit of devils behind after the announcement was planned. Tennessee was moved to NASA, Neil Armstrong test facility, the former Plum Brook facility to conduct environmental testing. Basically, the Tennessee prototype was a journal structure of Dream Chaser. It, it was a length of 9 meter, a dry weight of an N9 tenths, a wing shape of 7 meter, a height of 2 meters, and can be folded. It used a cluster of Warax engines manufactured by Orbit Tech which more used promen and nitro oxygen was proper planet prototypes will be designed to accommodate additional modules that increase cargo pleasure of 1200 labs or 5.54 tons moreover it also has landing wheels that helps it land on the runway like normal airplanes one side of the space plane was silicate bricks to be protected from high temperatures more than 1600 degree during atmosphere re-entry. This process is only spotted by a floor, floor made wings which help adjusted like landing post structures so that the side with those ties face down to directly reject the head caused by frictions with the atmosphere tenacity. Quantity design can make it reusable up of 15 times. Mentioned Tennessee will be moved to NASA Test Center of Ohio to conduct environmental tests. These tests will include testing the spacecraft ability to withstand vibrations and sounds. When launched on the rocket next, it will under cargo extreme temperature testing that it will face throughout on the flight. This step will be conducted inside thermal vacuum chamber. It will be uh, at the center for about one to three months after which it will be removed by the Kennedy Space Center, Florida or final preparations before launching. One of the first missions regarding the missions of the Tennessee in particular and Dream Chaser overall they are a part of the commercial resupply services contract of CRS2 that NASA awarded Sierra Space back in January in 2016. According to this contract, Sierra Space we have to provide at least seven uncrewed flights to and more the ISS Tennessee City first Missions is called SNC Demo 1 to transport cargo to the ISS April to 2024 like the Space Shuttle. It will be also launched on another rocket 
especially on your loss while concentrate in this flight and city will be combined with the shooting star module to provide an additional for an one hour two ton payload capacity beside its payload after transporting cargo to the ISS. The module will separate from the spaceship then it will burn with the atmosphere meanwhile tenacity will commence re-entry back into the atmosphere thanks reusable design after passing through the atmosphere it will generally run way land like the space shuttle. Did the landing site will be one way for less used by the space shuttle at Kennedy Space Center, Florida of ULS will censure the first flight of the rocket will be launched on Christmas this year. We are watching the Vulcan year carefully knowledge they are go to get up their first flight of Vulcan Tron the missions data analysis around there are we won the second flight after tenacity the next dream chaser prototypes will be built especially the DC 200 prototype with the ability to carry both cargo and a crew up to a seven astronauts on the ISS the tenacity release will create a strong boost to the development of the area space. They will have a vehicle that represents the company's brand with tenacity as well as the next dream chaser prototype Syria space then complete the task in the contract that NASA awarded them after completing NASA's contracts. It may still be a choice for NASA for missions for other missions. This will help the company complete more completely in the aerospace industry, especially with the powerful vehicle like SpaceX Dragon on the market. Dream Chaser and did has many students in order to be a considered a match for a Dragon first row of its cargo compartment is designed to arrange and store cargo more neatly with the crew Dragon prototype. It can carry up to 7 astronauts more than the capability of SpaceX Dragon. In fact, Crew Dragon that also carry 7 has the, the dedicated the extra 3 spots will be better suited for additional cargo thus the number of seats was reduced to for one of the special features of Dream Chaser is its landing method after returning to earth its land one of the one wheel like the commercial airplane this landing method is currently more interesting and highly rated compared to landing in the oceans like what dragon is doing what can also limit re-entry acceleration of 1.5 gs softening the landing move for any potential cargo these advantages are what's going to help serious space declare the dream chaser can redefine space travel additionally it will also help the company accelerate the space station project they are working on currently they are building an infrastructure module system as part of the orbital reef project in which they are cooperating with Blue Organ on although this partnership is facing many problems, they will still maintain that develops this system. Dream Chaser, Dream Chaser will become a main vehicle or CRS space if they want to develop their space station themselves even if they still manage to con maintain these constellations with the Blue Organ Dream Chaser will play an important role in developing that project since CRS space understands that they cannot rely solely on Blue Organ's new Java not only in the Dream Chaser development beneficials more zero space but NASA is also getting a solid of the pie in the retirement of the space shuttle back in 2011 in an ERS akin to the great disproportion of NASA as well as the US Air aerospace industry they lost in sending astronauts to the ISS and had to rely on Russian rockets for nearly a decade while resupply missions are carried up and other vehicles like SpaceX Dragon and normal science by 2020 with crew dragons NASA re regained astronauts it's setting its carry the space station since the space exos dragon has become NASA most important choice 
especially with screw new launch capability that's complete overshot its in the it's in this project skin is creating a big influence on NASA mission salt for SpaceX Dragon brings many benefits to NASA the agency does not want to be into dependent on a vehicle as they want to increase competition in order to avoid a monopoly in which they call SpaceX has accidentally cried on the recent release of Grim Chaser in probably extensionally that they expected because it can create a competitive position with SpaceX Dragon, giving NASA the right to choose for their mission only time will the Dream Chaser true capabilities, however. It can be said that its recent progress in a positive signals of the U.S. aerospace industry with the release of the Dream Chaser with the U.S. power of the U.S. aerospace industry will continue to increase that will be a basic for them to promote their important projects in the future as well as help them complete with other countries in the space race. The space shuttle was a remarkable achievement of the U.S. and a symbol of its power and glory in that past, but the future belongs on the Dream Chaser, a crew vehicle that will continue the agency of the shuttle and help America reach new heights in space exploration. What are our thoughts on the recent news in Valencian Dream Chaser? Do you think it will success in its mission? Let me know to throw in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today episode and everybody thank you so much for tuning and if you like to support our channel even future you can go ahead on our patreon through the link in description below sign up today and become a patreon and you will again success to excel the content in a case we still appreciate our generosity and our passion space exploration as as always this is handed space exploration until next time, keep looking up.